Good morning and welcome to another of KBC's daily vlogs. This morning um, we're going to be looking at and reading together Psalm 136. Now I like this psalm for lots of different reasons but one of the reasons stems from the fact that I have a dreadful memory. I cannot remember times, dates, places, appointments, meetings so I rely really heavily on the diary on my phone. And every morning I wake up and my phone sends me a reminder of what I have to do that day. Um, and sometimes in life we just need those nudges, those reminders. And I think that this psalm serves really well as a reminder. So the first point or reminder I'd like to pick out of the first words of the first verse, to give thanks. I have a three-year-old nephew and there are certain phrases we say to him a lot. And if it's not, put the worm down, or no, you can't have jelly beans for breakfast, then it's, what do you say? To remind him to say thank you. Now I can't speak for everybody, but I can't remember the last time someone turned to me and went, mm, Sarah, what do you say? As we get older, we don't need to be reminded to say thank you when someone makes us a brew or when someone hands us something or when responding to an email. The word thank you just becomes integrated into our daily language and becomes a natural response, one we don't even have to think about saying. But the psalm gives us that nudge that reminder that, what do you say, to stop and pause and thank God. In those first three verses, we are reminded to give thanks to the Lord because he is good, to give thanks to the God of gods, and to give thanks to the Lord of lords. So much to be thankful for. The psalmist also writes at the end of the psalm to give thanks to the God of heaven. So this is a reminder that we should be thankful at the start of the day and at the end for what has come and what is to come. Secondly, I think we're given this great reminder of how powerful God is in this psalm. We're reminded that it was our God who freed the people of Israel from Egypt as we're reminded of that Moses narrative. It's our God who struck down great kings. It's our God who gives food to every creature. It is our God who has done and can do and will do great wonders and miracles. And it is our God who created heaven and earth. In verse three to nine, we're specifically told to give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever and the moon and stars together in the night. His love endures forever. I was having a conversation with someone recently and I said that for obvious reasons, I had been going on more walks than I previously did. And what I had found most surprising is exploring and discovering things that I had either walked past a million times or never really noticed or had forgotten to appreciate. We live less than five minutes walk from the beach and I know that I am guilty of not appreciating the beauty of the beach or the greatness of the mountains that line our landscape perfectly. Yet we're reminded in this psalm how God created this world for us a world perfectly sustained because of the right levels of oxygen and nitrogen and carbon dioxide in the air. 
because of the water that covers the earth, because of the right level of gravity, because of the sun for the day and the moon for the night. Not only did God create something, he chose to create something beautiful. And I think this psalm reminds us that that is something we should be truly thankful for. However, the main theme, or reminder if you like, running through this psalm is the phrase, his love endures forever. In the NIV translation, the phrase, his love endures forever, is repeated 26 times as it's at the end of each verse. Well, I don't know about you, but if someone tells me something 26 times, I tend to think they're trying to make a point and that that point is something that I should be stopping and taking notice of. But the concept of forever is something that can be hard to grasp, to actually understand because of the immensity of it. But when you stop and think what forever is, then it is truly amazing. I really like the way the message translation of the Bible words this phrase as it uses the phrase, his love never stops. There's a worship song that we often sing in university and it's called Reckless Love. And I think it encapsulates what is God's love so well within its lyrics. In the song, it says this, it says that God's love is overwhelming, that it's never ending, that God's love chases us down and it fights till we'll, we're found. It continues to say that there's no shadow God won't light up, no mountain he won't climb up, no wall he won't kick down and no lie he won't tear down, coming after each one of us. I think that this psalm is a great reminder of the love that that song sings about. It's a reminder that we have a God who not only loves us, but loves immensely and eternally. A love that is non-stop. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for the, your word. We thank you for the beautiful insights it can give us. We thank you how the words are beautifully crafted. We thank you this morning, Lord, for this particular psalm, for the reminders it gives us. The reminder to give thanks, Lord. The reminder that you are a great and powerful God, Lord, who created the most beautiful creation. And as part of that creation, Lord, you chose to have each one of us in it. Each one of us who you love immensely, eternally and non non-stop. So we thank you, Lord, for that love that we cannot earn and we don't deserve, but you still you choose to give it to us. So we ask this morning, Lord, that you remind us to stop and to be thankful and to remember the things you do for us on the daily. We ask this all in your son's wonderful name. Amen. I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing. Um, stay safe and hope to see you all soon. Bye.